Now, to set up the barbell squat, we want to have the spar around shoulder height. We don't want it to be too high, we don't want it to be too low, just because we want to be able to get into it comfortably and do an easy unrack like this. Once it's around shoulder height to set up to figure out where you grab the bar, literally just raise your arms up like a zombie and set it on there. Once you're there, grab the bar and then we want to thread our head through like so. We want to make sure that our shoulder blades are coming in together so we're squeezing them together on the back to create a shelf in our rear delts and our traps. Once we're there, everything is tight. We want to just lock the hips through. So we want to do a little hip thrust, popping the hips through like this. Once they're there, take three steps back, one step, two steps, and the third set to set your squatting stance. Now your squatting stance should be around your shoulder width. Now, looking straight ahead, we want to take a deep breath in through your nose and push your stomach out. Once there, you want to break at your knees and your hips at the same time so that they should be moving in unison together like this. Now, notice that the barbell is traveling straight up and down. If you're noticing that the barbell is traveling forwards and backwards, it might be because you're breaking at your hips a little bit sooner like this before breaking at your knees. So making sure that both travel at the same time. Now another thing is when you get down here and you're exploding up, make sure you keep your chest up. Lead with your chest. If you don't lead with your chest, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go, boom. Right, leading with your chest. If you don't lead your chest, your hips are gonna come up because you're leading your chest strong. And that's gonna put a lot of, low, a lot of pressure on your lower back. <sighs> now, before you actually start the squat as well, you wanna make sure that you're bracing your core to create stability. But what does bracing the core mean? Bracing the core means you're creating that stability so that when you go down, your entire body isn't collapsing on itself because the weight that you squat with your legs, you know, that, that requires a little bit more intention than just going up and down, right? All of this has to hold that weight up. So a good way to feel what that bracing feels like, that core bracing, is if you put two fingers, take them on the inside of your hip and just push in, push in like this, right? Now, if you take a deep breath in and extend your abdomen, you should be able to feel those muscles pushing against your fingers. Now that's the bracing feeling that we want when we're squatting the weight. If you do want to use a belt, that's totally fine. Just be aware that the belt really isn't anything magical um, that's going to protect your lower back. It does this through uh, cueing you to brace your core. So when the belt is on tight, it's basically like the fingers drill, right? When the belt is on tight and you breathe in, you should naturally create a brace um, just by feeling that sensation.